We began the night with eight Florida schools still alive in the high school football playoffs, including five teams trying to advance to the Final Four. Let's start with the 8A regional finals with Bartram Trail against Seminole. After the Bears finish off the regular season, head coach Daryl Sutherland gave the team sweatshirts that read District Champions with an asterisk. Sutherland told them that the asterisk was for everything they had to overcome to win this year. Would they be able to wear a regional championship sweatshirt as well? To Sanford we go, where the Bears, uh, Seminoles uh, already trailing, already up rather, 21-0. Dante Wack goes in for the touchdown, and Seminoles rolling over Bartram, 28-0. Late in the half, Seminole punting. The Bears break through and block the punt, take it in for their first score of the night, 28-7 Seminole, with 1.55 left in the half. That's plenty of time for McLean and the Seminoles offense to score. McLean finds Lawrence Jones Jr. for the seven-yard touchdown. With two seconds left in the half, Seminole up 35-7 at the break. Second half, here come the Bears. A.J. Jones goes in for the touchdown. His third touchdown of the second half, Bartram trailed within seven, 35-28. Seminole would answer, though. McLean finds Jimmy Horn on a comeback route, and he runs past about eight defenders on his way to the end zone. 23-yard touchdown. Seminole wins at 42-28. Bears end the season with a record of 10-2. In 7A, Fleming Island had their work cut out for them, hosting undefeated Niceville tonight. The Golden Eagles were trying to do what no team had done this season, not just beat Niceville, but have a lead at halftime. It didn't happen. Today, it was almost all Niceville, 35-18. Fleming Island finishes the season with a 10-3 record. Terrific year for the Golden Eagles. But their playoff run comes to an end tonight at home. The only games involving two teams from our area featured St. Augustine at Lake City to face Columbia. Both teams got off to slow starts this year, but coming into tonight, the Yellow Jackets had won eight straight. The Tigers had run five in a row. Who would keep the winning streak alive? To Tiger Town we go. And so yes, if you, so if you that win, is the, the next game is governor, coming. Ron DeSantis, on hand. Yellow Jackets get on the board first. Ty Baxter dives in from the goal line, and he is in 7-0 St. Aug. Here come the Tigers, though. Jalen Brown around right end and cuts it up, and there he goes. Touchdown from 18 yards out, ties the game at 7. Second quarter, Tigers first and goal at the 1. Brown in for his second touchdown for Columbia. Tigers are up 14-7. Yellow Jackets would answer, though. It's a really good ball game tonight. Sam Edwards rolls right, finds Devontae Lyons in the flat, and he's in. Game tied at 14. Just before halftime, Lions goes in from a yard out. St. Augustine up 21-14 at that point, and the Yellow Jackets advance 35-24 the final. It had been nearly a month since Baker County played a home game. Road trips in the playoffs and one forfeit kept uh, an opponent, uh, by an opponent rather, kept the Wildcats from playing in McClenny. But tonight, they were back in Baker with a final four berth on the line, hosting Tallahassee Rickards. To McClenny we go, where... Of course, the Wildcats were stalking their prey. Wildcats in the uh, red jerseys there. Rickard going for it on fourth and one after Wildcat turnover. But the Heaven Clark there to break up the pass. Cats take over. Move to the second quarter. No score. Baker County 39 at the 27. Carson Crawford finds Scooby Graham for 10 yards and a first down. Later in the drive, third and goal from the one. Javari Baker. Touchdown. 7-0 Baker County. That was the score at halftime. Second half, Rickards shuts down the Baker County offense. Raiders get two touchdowns to win it. 14-10. Baker County season comes to an end with a 9-3 record. Coming up, three local teams trying to lock up trips to the state finals. Who would move within a win of a championship? We check in on Bulls, Trinity Christian, and UC. Coming up after the break.